Hello friends! Welcome to this week's video. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a recipe with you. <laughs> it's not a recipe. I'm just going to show you how I made this pasta salad. I'm calling it end of summer penne because I'm going to be using up all of the leftover summer produce that's in my fridge at the moment. I have a bit of summer squash here which is also called zucchini, some broccoli, celery, some jarred olives, a bit of summer corn. We're kind of at the end of corn season now, but I'm gonna be throwing that in as well. Also trying to fish out this feta from the back of the fridge. I really dislike my fridge right now because the freezer is at the bottom. It's really impractical. Anyway, I'm starting out by cooking the pasta in salted water, of course, and I'm following the package instructions, simply trying not to overcook it. I was also trying to decide how much of it I should cook and in the end I made the entire box. I was also very existential about it. I think that might have been a mistake. Maybe not. Okay, that's not so bad. It's fine. While the pasta was cooking, I cut up the vegetables that I wanted to roast in my little convection oven. I didn't include the corn here because the corn was already cooked. It was actually just boiled corn left over that I had from the previous day. So that's why the corn isn't included. I tried to cut everything kind of in a similar size just for even cooking. And this is seasoned with a bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. I didn't want to overcomplicate the seasoning because these vegetables were just going to be mixed up along with the pasta and everything else. That's hot. Once the pasta was cooked, I strained it, transferred it to a bowl, dressed it with a little olive oil and some lemon juice too. This is how I juice a lemon. I don't have a citrus juicer or that, that stick with the grooves in it that people use. I just don't have that stuff. I've never bought it. I've always just used this method here, which is to stick a fork in it and then squeeze it and move the fork around. Honestly, this gets out every drop of lemon juice or lime juice. It works really nicely on a lime as well. And that's a, a really good hack if you don't have a citrus juicer or that thing, that thing that people use that I don't really even know what it's called. Okay, to the pasta, I have added the corn, which I shaved off the cob, some crumbled feta, the olives, and here are my veggies right out of the little convection oven. They looked close to where I wanted them to be, but I wasn't sure, so I did a little taste test. Hmm, not bad. I think it needs more time. The veggies went back into the oven on broil and I did a little cleaning up. I did not throw away this broccoli stem. I kept it and then the next day I actually made something that I call vegetable scrap soup, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's vegetable scraps like this or the stalk of the cauliflower. You cook it up, make a soup out of it. I think I've been a little hyper aware lately of our food wastage. It's not bad by any means, but I am trying as much as possible to not throw away things that don't need to be thrown out. Moving on, I added the vegetables to the bowl, I adjusted the salt a little bit, combined everything, gave it a little toss. I even went so far as to plate the dish because I thought I was finished, I was going to take my final shots and then I had an epiphany or a change of heart. I dumped the pasta back into the bowl and decided to add some of this hot preserved eggplant. I also added some of the oil from the jar. Honestly, this was a great move. I'm so happy I did it because this dish now contained a tangy and chewy element that wasn't there before. I really enjoyed this end of summer penne. I'm glad that I was able to use my summer squash and my summer corn and really finish up those items. As the weather gets cooler, I'll be sharing heartier, more comforting and warming recipes. But until then, I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. And as usual, thank you for spending time with me today. I'll see you very soon with something else. Okay, bye-bye.